Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at regions for the AWS Global Infrastructure. And so a region is a geographically distinct location which has multiple data centers, also known as AZs for AWS. And uh, I've highlighted in red geographically distinct because that is the most important thing you need to remember about regions. Every region is physically isolated from and independent of every other region in terms of location, power, and water supply. Uh, every region has at least two AZs. So again, an AZ is a data center, so it has at least two uh, data centers running within that region. The largest region for AWS is US East, so that is North of Virginia. Um, and uh, new services almost always be become available first in US East, and not all services are available in all regions, okay? So if you definitely want to use a new feature or service uh, via AWS, your best bet is to switch over to US East. And US East 1, which again is North Virginia, is the region where you see all your billing information. All right, and uh, you can just see here on the left-hand side, I have a bunch of flags uh, for uh, the countries where these regions run in here. I might not have all of them in here, but I definitely have a lot here. So you can see there's a lot of coverage here. So now that we know what a region is, let's just go take a look um, at uh, some of the features of uh, regions, okay? So I just hopped over to the AWS website because I just wanted to show you a little bit more about regions visually. And so uh, here we have, uh, our, uh, they say region maps, but these are really just uh, a particular continents that house a bunch of regions. So looking at North America, you can see we have uh, regions on the West Coast and the East Coast. And so we have Ohio or uh, Oregon, North uh, California, and we have Canada and North Virginia here, okay? Uh, and so you can see in Canada, there's only two um, availability zones uh, and they are working on a third one. It was just recently announced. So uh, AWS can always say that they at least have two AZs in every single uh, uh, region, but they're definitely coming close to being able to say they have at least three in every region, which is very important because uh, most companies or enterprises have to run in at least three AZs. Uh, so now going on to South America, you can see that there is a single region here, uh, and that is in um, uh, Brazil. And then we have over here in Europe, uh, so we have a few here. We have London, Stockholm, uh, Frankfurt, Paris, and uh, Brahim. Uh, and sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I've I've forgotten already. Oh, and then we have uh, Ireland. Okay, sorry Ireland. I know you're you're there as well. Okay, and then on to Asia Pacific. So we have uh, mainland China, Sydney. Um, so that, I would I think that that would be Australia there. Tokyo, so that's Japan. Uh, Seoul, so that is uh, Korea. Um, cannot say that, but that's another place in mainland China. And we have uh, another place in Japan. Um, and then uh, Mumbai, so I believe that is India. And then we have Hong Kong, so that's Hong Kong, okay? Uh, so yeah, those are uh, the uh, regions. And then if we just hop over here to the regional table, this gives you an idea um, what services are offered. So when we said that not all services are available, you can kind of see that like, for example, that Amazon Connect is only available in a few regions. So we have North Virginia and North uh, Carolina. Okay, and then Deep Lens really is only in uh, Northern Virginia. So again, what, as I said, everything is North Northern Virginia. You can see we have check boxes all the way down here. And this is also bro uh, broken up based on um, those geographical uh, continents. So if I go here, you can see um, Ireland seems to be uh, having all the ones in uh, Europe. And then in Asia Pacific, it looks like, um, I guess, Singapore. Singapore looks like they have uh, the majority of services there. Okay, so there you go. That is uh, 